We finally have our first glimpse of Halo Reach Firefight gameplay on PC for you guys in this video. If you want to see all the goodness that was brought to us in the 343 social stream and all the details that go along with this and what they're exactly testing out with this flight too, stay tuned at the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update when it comes to Halo. This, in this case right here we're talking about Halo Reach on PC Flight 2 information for you guys right here. If you guys like these news informational videos please make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video as well. What your thoughts on this gameplay that we're seeing right here. And if you guys want to stay up to date with anything Halo related that's MCC, Halo Infinite, TV show, Halo 5, everything in between. Make sure you tap subscribe on the channel guys because it keeps you up to date with everything going on in Halo and on the channel. So let's get right into the video here. So every Wednesday 343 does a social stream over on Mixer. A lot of times just kind of bringing on one of the workers uh, at, the, at the office right there to kind of talk about their aspect of what they work on with Halo. It's just a pretty fun, casual experience. Also gives a chance for community members of Magic Against 343 people to actually get the Ice Unicorn skin which sadly I've never been able to get but hey. You know, I work that regular nine to five job and they usually stream at like during those hours. So it's a big shame right there. But this social stream was a bit more exciting because they actually showed off some actual gameplay live on this live stream of Halo Reach Firefight on PC. Now, I feel like I've been beating a dead horse when it comes to talking about Flight 2 right now. I actually looked it up. I made 11 videos with the Flight 2 title in it in the last month or so. That's because that's what's going on right now in Halo. That's the hot news, guys. We got to talk about this. And now we finally, finally got some actual gameplay. And let me tell you guys, it looks pretty dang good. We also got a chance to see all three maps that are going to be featured in the Fire Flight setup here for you guys. So it's really exciting to get a chance to get a full gamut of what's going to be able to be experienced. So now you're probably wondering, well, yeah, yeah, they want to test out Firefight and see how well it plays. But obviously the gameplay itself is rather solved and it really isn't any issues going on at the moment. The big thing that they're going to test with this Flight 2 is the networking on PC and how well and how stable it is really. because. Uh, even watching this live stream, I definitely did notice some moments of lag or characters or there was even a round I think that actually restarted during this stream as well. So there's certainly some bugs that are known to be in this build, though it's not necessarily anything that's really blocking to the point where you can't even play it. Because uh, the big thing is that they want to test out the networking of this right here. That's why I think maybe 343 and Flight 3 is focusing on the Xbox when it comes to matchmaking uh, for PvP games. Because they're really testing out the networking here for Flight 2 when it comes to uh, playing on the PC. Also in the stream they do mention how that there is going to be a frequently or known bug uh, kind of feed or thread that's going to be on the Halo Insider webpage. So if you guys get inside that form, you come across a bug or some issue you keep coming across against or something that keeps happening, make sure you check out before you start ranting and raving on the forums over on that site. Another very cool thing about this new flight here is that they actually added in some customizable buttons, which I don't remember exactly if that was available in flight one. So you get the chance to customize your uh, button layout, which obviously is super important when it comes to keyboard and mouse play right there for sure on PC. Uh, but another huge change is actually going to be the FOV slider is going to go up to 120, which is awesome. Before, it was, I believe it was kind of locked at 90 if i remember correctly so it wasn't even a slider available with that but now you can actually customize your field of view which looks really nice you actually see in the gameplay right here that the fov is currently at 120 it looks way different and honestly to my opinion way better uh they definitely did a great job of scaling the weapon in the higher fovs which then definitely just tend to happen with a lot of games where like the weapon looks very really stretched out or weird looking when it comes to higher FOVs. The, FOV, the 120 FOV in this game actually looks really good to where I actually probably would be the FOV I would like to play on when it comes to playing on PC even. Because normally I play around 90 because a lot of times, like I said, uh, weapon models look kind of stretched out or they kind of give a fish eye lens kind of look to the whole thing. But this actually looks pretty good. So I'm really happy with how 343 and the splash damage have been kind of going along with uh, the development of bringing reach to the PC. So you got that flight to Austin that's happening. Again, no day has been mentioned so far, but I uh, recently just saw over on Twitter, actually, Postums did mention something about how that the uh, this build, I think, just passed all the blockers for ring three, which kind of means 
that we're pretty much ready to go. So now you're probably wondering, well, when do we get a chance to get my hands on the keyboard and mouse to play some firefight with my buddies, my bros, my friends, and get a chance to enjoy some of this awesome, awesome greatness right here. Well, went on Twitter here, I saw Postums put up some updates on there, so we'll read out those tweets for you guys. Postum said here on this tweet, and I'm, I'm gonna try to correct, I believe there's some typos in this saying, so an all ring blocking issue has been found that is already fixed. The team kicked off a new build with the issue resolved. Current plan is if smoke test checks out, that build will go out to ring one and ring two tomorrow. So again, this build is not completely ready yet for guys to, for us to play, but they're just getting out those little tiny details that keep popping up that kind of keep delaying things. But I think they're kind of narrowing down to the bugs to where like we're getting real close to get a chance to hopefully get the ring three, which is us guys, the uh, Halo Insider team. And so I hope we get a chance to play this. I would hopefully maybe buy this weekend. It's still kind of my bets. Um, but uh, no, obviously no guarantee. Uh, I'm looking forward in the future about Flight 3 as well. As I mentioned previously that I said it was going to be an Xbox only flight. Because that's what it said in the post. But actually in during this live stream with on Mixer. Uh, Postman was in the chat. And he mentioned, I asked a question about like if uh, there's going to be any PvP matchmaking flights. When it comes to PC. Because I feel like that would be something you need to test out after reading in the last blog post said that it's going to be an xbox one only flight for flight three but then postum said that there's going to be a pc one as well so i was like wait i'm kind of confused here so i went on twitter and i asked postum saying i'm a little confused about flight three on the dev update it says flight three will be an xbox only flight though on stream it sounds like flight three may have a pc version as well Postum goes in and the reply says, Fly 3 is going to be an Xbox only. The team is unable to support two flights at once to separate platforms. In the future, there may be a flight for PC that is PvP as well, but the next big focus our Fire Flight is to hammer out the Xbox One flight. So yes, in Flight 3 guys, we still may get a PC Flight 3 PvP awesomeness coming our way, but it looks like 3 for 3 only has the bandwidth to do one flight at a time on, or at least one platform I should say, at a time. So it's good to know guys, so hopefully you get a chance to play some multiplayer PC before the full release, which I'm sure we probably will. So yes, Flight 2 is getting very close to coming to the Ring 3 Halo Insider team. Right now, it's not exactly uh, a firm date when it's going to happen, but it looks like it may happen rather soon. I would say definitely within the next two or three weeks. Guarantee that's going to happen. My hopes is still this weekend, but we'll see. Uh, if you guys like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the gameplay that we saw here. There were still some networking bugs or some net networking issues uh, that I noticed. And I want to see what you're, if you guys are really okay with playing with that or do you want to make sure it's squeaky clean before you get a chance to play. Let me let the rest of this video play out with some just raw gameplay so you guys can kind of experience it for yourself or how I was watching it. So hopefully you can get the chance to enjoy it. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo, make sure to tap subscribe. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out. Yeah, it said if you're not doing that, then uh, you're not doing it right, apparently. So <laughs> there you go. I actually cleared teabagging uh, with the crew in here before we went on stream to this make sure true. that was okay. This is true. Like, I'm asking the important questions you right would. now. So Eric, yeah. what's your favorite part of like happening? What's of the build that's happening right now? Like, what what are you looking forward to the most? Um, I am looking forward to getting our next flight out the most. Uh, <laughs> to be completely honest with you, we've been working. Yeah, I know. Being, I think being, you being a good right mother. I know. Uh, somebody wants to see you put it on 120 frames for just like five seconds. <laughs> I guess, Sean. You go for it. Yeah. <laughs> You get your wish, Accelerate. Yeah, he's gonna, if he gets in the flight, you know, he'll... I mean, yeah, he, uh... I hear he really enjoyed the first flight. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, is, uh, is Accelerate, it, yeah. Accelerate with an eight? Nice, yeah. yes, I remember, yeah, yeah, that was gonna say that. The way people, there we go, 120, <laughs> boom. Uh, we have a guy with this... It looks fast, but it's not. It's not. We have a guy with a super, super widescreen, the one from the blog, Jared. Yeah. Um, Who's actually... 
playing this game with me right now. Yeah, he's actually in this game on a uh, lot wider setup than Eric Fernhand is. Yes. Um, what were we just talking about? Accelerate. Oh, Accelerate, yes. The uh, campaign stream. I remember tuning in. It was awesome to watch. I. Uh, yeah, so he, he, like, he apparently he was playing, like, he, he uh, texted me on Discord, and he's like, What's Dursky's Twitch name? And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's just Dursky. Why? He's like, because some guy named Dursky showed up in my stream and I didn't know who it was. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that was him. Yeah, and, and that's, again,